first year as part of the Red Threads creative group. And I originally learned about Red Threads about, oh, I don't know, maybe six years ago or so. Um, a good friend of mine was involved in it and, um, and still is. And it was always my dream to not only pursue my vocation in art, but also to create a community in order to do that and wish to do that because um, up until about five years ago, my community was strictly um, medical or health related, um, other moms, things like that, and I desperately missed that part of myself. So when Gabriella encouraged me to pursue my dream of becoming an artist based on the education I had previously and throughout classes I'd taken throughout the course of my life, um, I went for it. And I feel like that little bit of magic that Gabriella gave me was exactly the push I needed. And then I went to her show for Red Threads and I thought to myself, this, this is what I'm missing, being part of a community like this. And then here I am, five to six years later, and I just can't even believe it. So it's like a dream come true. Um, and the idea behind the, the red thread being a connection that brings us all together is exactly, that's exactly what it has been for me. Um, not only just a connection, but like this, this sparky magic that just connects us all. And I'm just so grateful for that. And for people like Abby who opened up their galleries to groups like this and just encourage that connection. Um, so, what I ended up doing for this show, I have a few other pieces in the other room, but um, these all work really well together. They're nice and bright. I like to use palette knife because I feel that it brings energy to the canvas that I can't normally get with a paintbrush. Um, I like the chiseled lines it creates. I like to fracture my lines as well, like just putting a um, palette knife on there creates a nice clean edge, but then when you fracture it, it just really brings it to life. Um, a couple of these I created just from my own imagination. Um, actually, all three of these. <laughs> um, uh, just, I spend a lot of time outdoors. My favorite thing in the world is to be outside. My husband calls me an outside dog. Um, and I just love it, so I'm always outside, and I guess I have a Rolodex of images of landscapes, um, and I prefer painting landscapes over anything else. But um, So they just came from my imagination, and then this one was from uh, a trip I took with some friends out to the wine country, um, so this is the Sonoma Valley. Um, and this one in particular was very meaningful to me because I created it after I made a big change in my life and I entitled it Rebirth based on that change. And it actually was the perfect addition to this show because I feel as if I come into my own and rebirthed myself in the past few years and being part of this show has been almost like the icing on the cake. So I am truly grateful for the group and for the opportunity to put my heart and art on the walls and just connect 